As the Christmas time nears, I would like to address one part of the Western audience that has been in the focus of attention over this year. The Putin Fashtea, the Russia accommodators, the Russia apologists, the names are different. The essence is the same. These are people who justify the war that's being waged on Ukraine. I'm sure that on Christmas Eve all these people will come together with their dear ones over Christmas goose or whatever they cook, whatever they enjoy for holidays. While they do that, I wish they had the courage to think about all those perished in this war they apologize and justify. I wish they would think about Rishat Ameto, the 30-year-old Crimean Tatar, who was the first who had the courage to protest against the occupation of his motherland on March 3rd and who was brutally murdered by the so-called polite little green man from Russia. I wish they would think about Stopa Chubenko, 17-year-old soccer goalie who was arrested for no particular reason during the summer and was found dead on a dump by Donetsk in October. I wish they would think about the four evangelical Christians from Slovyansk, Ruvim and Alexander Pavenko, Viktor Bradaski, Vladimir Velichko. They were arrested in front of the dear ones during the God service, tortured for a couple of days and, they bru and then brutally killed by the separatists. Just think about it. This is a Christian fest and many of you are Christian. Think about it. I mean, the 21st century Europe, people get killed just for going to a wrong church and evangelicals are treated as American agents in, on, on the occupied territories. And by the way, next time when you accuse Ukraine of the equal level of senseless violence, think about the Reverend Oleg, the Russian Orthodox priest, who in fact blessed all these killings in, in, June, in June, and then is still uh, uh, serving his uh, uh, parishioners uh, in Slovyansk after uh, Ukraine uh, liberated it. I wish you would think about thousands of destroyed lives just because someone in Moscow decided to restore Russia's greatness in such a violent, crazy, unnatural way. Russian propaganda speaks about the victims of shellings in Donetsk and Lugansk. They use these gory images to accuse Ukraine of kill them all policy. They feed on these images like vultures. Or sometimes they just say Ukrainians are lousy shots who don't care about the dead. As Ukrainian ambassador, I assure you, each and every loss of life to both sides of the separation line is a tragedy to Ukraine. It's a result of a war that was started not by us, that is being waged on our territory by foreign citizens under foreign flags. I know for sure that Ukraine would be the last one to give orders to kill innocent civilians. And uh, Ukraine would be the last one interested in more Ukrainians dying in this unnatural, perverse war. I know that without this war, all these thousands of people would be sitting together with their dear ones over Christmas or around the Christmas and New Year tables, celebrating with their kids like you would do. You say Russia has legitimate security concerns that were disregarded. Do you really believe that thousands of lives are a legitimate price to pay? for legitimate security concerns and would you pay a price if these were the lives of your dear ones? I don't accuse you, neither want I to be your friend. 
I understand your desire to have your peace and quiet back, to get back to business as usual, at the cost of, even at the cost of throwing under the bus a country you don't like and you don't understand. But even that it's, is an illusion. Europe won't be back to business as usual. We are in a new political reality. And the big question is not only whether we enter this reality with or without free and democratic Ukraine, with or without united and prosperous Russia. The big question is also about Europe. Will Europe enter it with or without heart, with or without conscience, with or without political integrity? So the big question is also about you. And I hope you will think about it when celebrating this Christmas. Thank you.